Hi friends, I am Jitendra Pasna. Today we will going to see a data weave transformation part two. In previous video, we have gone through like basic of the data weave transformation, like you know how to define input metadata, how to define output metadata, what is the transform message, what is the data weave transformation. Okay, we have done some simple mapping and we have used some you know one of the input function in our previous video. In this video, we are going to see how to you know like uh, invoke the custom function how can you write the function in the you know global xml okay global configuration xml and second thing we will also going to see when otherwise you know keywords uh, how can you use those keywords in the data view transform function let we will start with uh, creating a new application i will say file new new project i will say dw3 app okay for runtime, I will click 3.8.3 only. In your case, there can be multiple runtime. You can select depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting, I will not going to okay. I will not going to touch, and I will simply click on finish. As usual, I will first look for HTTP listener, and I will drag and drop HTTP listener in the message canvas region. And under the connector configuration, I will going to configure it. Okay, and rest of the you can keep all the setting as a default. You can change depending on your requirement. I will give a path as a DW3. I will say allow method equal to post. Now other thing, we use a transform message component to transform the message. So this is my transform message. Okay. So I want one file component where we will going to save our final output after transformation. So for that I require one folder I will create under source test resources I will say new folder I will say out I will say finish okay now I will going to configure file connector I will say source test resources out okay these are configured now what I will going to do I will going to show you so this is my input message let me drag and drop output also this is my this is my output message. So what I want, so this is my input message. First name, last name is uh, they are both on separate field. First thing I have to go, you know add both into the one field. Second, like it required. Uh, so what you have to do? So I have to completely you know like uh, make it lower into a lower case and I have to send it to output. So we will going to perform these two operation right now. So for converting the string uh, character into lower, we write one custom function. So for that, you have to go to configuration XML. Fine. So you know, at the top of the flow, you have to define a configuration control space. I will say okay. Under configuration, you have to define the expression language. Under expression language, you have to define a global function. Okay, first thing under for configuration you have to give a doc name. You can give anything. I will say configuration one. Under the global function, you have to define function, you have to use the keyword def. I will say two lower. You have to pass the parameter which you require and simply okay. You can define as many functions you want under the global function. So what I will say return name dot to lower case. Okay, I will save it. Fine. The global functions that is fine. Now what I will do? I will go to my. So I have written one function under the configuration XML global configuration XML. Okay, you have to define configuration expression language and global function. Under global function, you can write your function. So now I will again go to our flow. I will go to transform message. I have to define the metadata. First input metadata. I will say add. I will say emp input. I will say create type. I will simply select JSON. I will select example. I will select my first given. Okay, it has list down all the fields. Now okay. Now I will going to define output metadata. I will say add. EMP output. I will say create type. I will say JSON example. I will say DV3 JSON. Okay. okay. 
So now what I will do first name, I will map with first name, last name also with map with the, okay, age, position. Now what we want, we want two things. First thing, we want a space between first name and the last name. Okay. Second thing, you have to access that two lower function. This is one. Okay. So I will copy and you have to pass one parameter. Right. So simply what I can do, I will go to here. I will just write, copy paste it to lower. Again, you have to you know, convert uh, last name into also lower. So you can do that way. Okay. So you can check the preview also. Yeah. See your it has been converted into lowercase. So let me save it. Let me run it. Okay. Yes. Let's wait. Okay, the application has been deployed. So I have to put my input message into the, let me put note pair. Mm, let me, this is my example. I will control, control C, close it. I will paste it here. Okay, DW3. I will post my first message. Let's wait. Okay, it got successful. Okay, let me check out folder. What happened in out folder? Let me refresh it it has been converted into a lower case now second thing what I will change name I will say so you can see it has been converted into lower case instead of I will what I will do I will put full Okay, uppercase. This is my file. You can see it has been lowercase. Now, this is one case. I will going to show you other scenario also. What we will going to do? I have a two file. Okay. So like uh, this is my input message currency GB exchange rate 100 and this is my output message currency exchange rate 100 country and the country UK. So basically if you see input message you don't have a country but you have to also identify the country but you can receive two currency GBP or USD okay there can be multiple currency so now depending on the currency you have to find the country so there is an operation there is an operator called WAN and otherwise we can use those operator to map you know if country is GB currency GBP then map to UK it's, you know, it's, it's USD map to USA. So we will going to see that example now. How can we use when and otherwise operator? So now I will go to my again, sorry, my flow transform message. I will clear the input and output metadata. Okay, I will define new one. I will say, let me just say input. I will define JSON. I will say example. I will say this is my one. Okay. Now I will define my output. I will say add. Output. I will say create type. I will say JSON. Example. I go. Okay. Let me remove this previous data. So what I can do? Currency goes to currency, exchange rate goes to exchange rate. Now what I can do, simply I can say, okay, I can country, okay, and country I can, you know, put this, one minute, one minute, okay, let me map currency first to country. It will not, let me write only. I can write country. Mm. I will say okay. So what I can do now again? I want country. 
I will say my country should be USA but when I will say when a load dot currency is equal to equal to USD I will enter other wise I will again curly bracket I will say otherwise country equals to UK okay what is the one issue found okay I will save it I will say preview so you can see like UK and all those things so let me test so what I will do I will just save it let me drag and drop my uh, sorry let me find out my example I will say okay for you know what I will do I will delete all previous files okay the application deploy I will send it okay I got a response successful let me refresh the file has been created you can see currency TBP exchange is 100 and country is UK so I will change it to currency I will say USD just send it see you can see your country is USA now so this is how you can use when and other operation it, it is as usual as like same as the if, if and else condition Okay, so hope you enjoyed video. Thanks for watching a video.